Right, hello and welcome to Linux with Jezza. And today I am setting up one of these. This is a Raspberry Pi 2. Six times faster, make, learn. There you go, it's a bit better in focus. Make, learn and design. And I'll show you how to set this up within Linux. So in order to set it all up, we need to make sure we've got the, the uh, items required so we can run the Pi. So we've got the Pi 2. This is my Pi 2 in the case. And it's come off eBay, I think it come with Japan. You can get them in the UK though. As I pushed the pay now button, I realized that uh, it was coming from Japan. And I uh, got it in about just over a week and a bit. So, not too bad really. So we use that one. And we're using a USB plug. And this is a two amp and an amp. So it's nearly three and up, 3.4 amps. Should be fired enough uh, wallet to, to run it, and I'm using the USB cable, so it's USB to micro USB. And this is the cable off my my charge from my camera recorder, so I'm hoping this is going to work. We're using a 16 gigabyte. It's going to show up too well. There we go. 16 gig SanDisk Ultra Micro SDHC card. And I've got a USB adapter so I can read the card on a computer. And two other things are required are a mouse and also a keyboard. But make sure they're both USB. And yes, I am sitting on the floor because it provides the most light in the moment from where I am. Right, so I'll go ahead to the desktop and show you how to install the image and then we'll come back when uh, the image is installed and I'll show you the Pi running. Catch you soon. Right, hello and welcome to Linux with Jezza. And today I'm showing you how to set up your Raspberry Pi or Raspberry Pi 2 within Linux. So your first thing is first is you need to get the image off the Pi's website. So you go to www.raspberrypi.org and you can go on the download section. So I'll just get rid of this. I'm going to hit downloads and I'm going to hit Raspberry now. You can do it with a noobs installer, but I'm going to do it with just a Raspberry software. So I'll click on Raspberry and I'm going to get the latest one, Raspberry Jesse. Download torrent or download zip. So I've already got it downloaded. I've downloaded the zip file in my downloads. And once you double click the zip file, you can just drag it to the uh, downloads file or wherever you want to drag it to and it'll unzip it. Once it's unzipped, you should see Raspbian with its uh, date jesse.img. Now, the first thing first is we need to format our memory card. You can do that in two ways now with disk uh, mounter or G parted. So, so we're going to go here, disk. We're going to do it with disks. There you go. What I'm going to do is click on 16 gig volume, press that one, look at spare gears. Press on format and compatible with all system devices and fat. So I'm going to do this one. Press format and it's going to push format again. It's going to go ahead and it's going to format a our memory card. It shouldn't take too long to do this. There we go. It's formatted our memory card. So I can now close this, and if I go to the memory card, it's thinking volume, it's telling me there's nothing there. So I go back to my downloads, and I want to write this image to the memory card. So I right click on Raspberry Jesse IMG, and open with Disk Image Writer. And it says Restore Image Below, and I'm going to select this one here. I'm going to press start restoring and then restore. That's going to ask me for my password. It's telling me it's got five minutes to go, so I'll pause the video and I'll come back once it's done. Right, the image has written to the memory card, and you can see there free space 4.2 meg, boot partition 59 megabytes fat, and it's Partition 2 is 4.3 gigs, <clears throat> and it's created a free space of 12 gigabytes. 
So what I'll do, I'll take the uh, card out and I'll stick it in the Raspberry Pi and hopefully you'll be able to see the Raspberry Pi booting. Catch you in a sec. For this one, the Pi is connected to Ethernet, USB, to the TV, and there's the power cable. And I'm not going to be using the plug I showed you earlier. I'm going to be using a power supply. This is the one off my CB because it's got a um, cigarette socket front a plug at the front. And all I'm going to do is with the SD card inserted, which is in there, I'm going to um, plug it in, and away we go. So you go in. And you'll know you've got it right because the lights will start flashing and you'll see loads of text across the screen. So let me zoom in. That's quite out of focus and it comes back in. And there we go, there's the Pi desktop booted. So you can go and have a cup of tea now, sit down, relax, and when you come back, you can play with your new desktop. You can go up here, like the menu button. If I go in a bit, you've got programming. So you've got like uh, Blue Java, Greenfoot Java, Python 2, 3, Scratch, Sonic Pi, and Wolf, Wolf, Wolfram, whatever that is. Office, you've got LibreOffice, you know how to use all that. Internet, you've got Classmail, a web browser, and Pi resources. Games, you've got Python games and Minecraft Pi. Accessories, a few things in there. PDF viewer, file manager, calculator, image viewer, etc. And the terminal. Help, so Debian reference, Raspberry Pi help. Preferences, appearance settings, audio device settings, main menu editor, mouse and keyboard settings, and you've got the run command. You've also got shortcuts up here, so you can click it, go to your terminal there to launch that program and so on and that's basically your new Pi desktop if I go to accessories let me have a look at something internet and Raspberry Pi resources it's going to be a little bit slow because it's running off an SD card and that's just the website Raspberry Pi org slash resources which is the website we was at earlier if I had to go on download and that's where we was earlier to download the Pi image okay you can even install a uh, third party operating systems on there um, the Ubuntu Mate uh, Ubuntu um, Snappy Ubuntu Core sorry Windows 10 uh, what does it say we yeah, Windows 10 Although I wouldn't bother, there's no point in it, the idea of getting a Pi, just get away from Windows, do some real computing for a change. OSMC, Overlect, Risk OS, and PyNet, which is classroom management situation. So yeah, bit of a handheld video this one. So you've installed the um, set up the Pi within Linux, we've installed the image, showed you what we needed for the Pi. Till next time, catch us soon. This has been Linux with Jezza. And apologies for the handheld of the camera. Catch you very, very soon.